When we talk about the triplet-based groove that we're dealing with for, for these next series of exercises, uh, the, the first thing that I would like to address is the 12-8 clave. This 12-8 clave is um, based on four beats in a measure. And within those four beats, we have groups of threes. Regardless of whether you're hearing it in 6-8 or 12-8, again, we're dealing with a pattern that's actually very similar to the duple version, which would be the 3-2 rumba clave. So if we play the 3-2 rumba clave with duple, and then we combine that with the rhythm of the 12-8 clave, they're very, very similar. And if you look on the screen, we'll show you the, the subdivisions of these so you can see how they lay. So if we were here, and we were thinking in duple, we are thinking So it's basically the rhythms are, are very, very close. And so when we, uh, a great exercise is to practice playing both of those back to back, just like what we did with the duple and triple clave exercise, which was in 2-3. We can try it in 3-2, and that would be basically what we would be dealing with in this first exercise. One of the things that, that we, we really need to remember is, you know, now, now our subdivision has changed. So now it's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, and our pulse is here, 2, 3, 4, which we're going to hear in the, in the tambourine, and the bass drum is going to be playing 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, okay? So it's very important that we get that triplet subdiv uh, subdivision going on in our head so all of this is going to make sense to us. So first example, uh, we have the 12-8 uh, clave. We have the uh, big note or the, uh, the dotted quarter here. We have the third note of the, the triple subdivision in the bass drum off of beats one and beat three. And then the left hand is gonna go through the triplet permutations on the snare drum. Now the triplet permutations, again, just like what we were dealing with with the duple, some of these can become quite involved. And again, we're gonna take our time with these and we're gonna go back to that one source again and we're gonna make sure that we can play all of these together with both of our hands and understand exactly where everything lines up and before we decide to move our right hand over to the block to make sure that everything is nice and comfortable. Take your time with these, do one at a time and, and just really understand where everything fits together because all of these subdivisions are, are just so important to making the groove feel really good.
Once we've um, achieved the, the independence that we need to be able to play the exercise, probably one of the most important aspects of playing this is being able to play it with the proper feel. A feel that feels good and a feel that's stylistically correct to the music. So how do we figure that out? Again, we go back to recordings. We consult great teachers. We listen to um, as, mu as much of the music as we can. And, and I think for, for drum set players, um, I, I think it's extremely important to spend some time uh, listening to percussionists. You have to listen to percussionists because um, whether you're aware of this or not, this instrument was not around when a lot of this music came to be. So we need to always go back to the source and we need to hear, do you really listen to the phrasing? And then we want to try and get that phrasing into our playing. And then that way, especially like when you're playing along with the Montuno or if you're playing along with that 6-8 bass pattern, we can really get inside that and, and really make the groove swing convincingly with the, the, the feel that, that's proper to the, the actual groove. This is not something that happens overnight and a lot of people can play grooves note perfectly but they may not feel well because they're not really, they're thinking of it when we were using the word grid, uh, the grid might be a little too square and maybe we want to make the grid sort of uh, off center just a hair to try and get, get some life into the groove. It's very important. It is, it's extremely important to be able to play things perfectly but when we use the word perfect, perfect also includes having a great feel and a great sound.